you've got to read this. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas is about Star, a 16-year-old black girl who lives in a lower-income black neighborhood, but goes to school in an almost completely white private school. She has two faces. When she's at home, she uses black vernacular and hides the fact that she likes Taylor Swift and has a white boyfriend. When she's at school, she only uses standard white English and pretends the girl from the neighborhood doesn't exist. She doesn't fit in well in either world. On the way home from a party, she and Khalil, her childhood friend, are pulled over by the police. Star does exactly what she's told, just like her parents taught her. But Khalil, who's black, responds to the officer's commands with questions. He's told not to move. When he opens his car door to check if Star is okay, the cop shoots him. He dies right in front of Star. She's traumatized, of course, but her family and community rally around her and give her support. Khalil's shooting was on the news, so the people at school have heard, and her friends ask her about it. And then they said the drug dealer's name was Khalil, she says, and exchanges a look with Maya. We wanted to ask if it was the Khalil who used to come to your birthday parties, Maya adds. The drug dealer. That's how they see him. It doesn't matter that he's suspected of doing it. Drug dealer is louder than suspected will ever be. If it's revealed that I was in the car, what will that make me? The thug ghetto girl with a drug dealer? Star doesn't tell any of them that she was there or that she and Khalil were friends. She starts becoming more aware of the racism around her, even when those people engaging in it don't realize they're being racist. But the author doesn't stereotype the white people. They're three-dimensional characters as well. And because Star's uncle is a police officer, we're allowed to see how complicated the issue can be on the other side of the badge without ever excusing the actions of the man who killed Khalil. The Hate You Give shows how black and white people often live in very different worlds, and how the white folks sometimes don't even know that there is a different perspective different from their own. It gets to know why some black youth get involved in drugs and gangs, and why those choices shouldn't define them. I know they made a movie, and it's good, but there's so much in this novel that couldn't be squeezed into a two-hour movie. Read the book. You'll be glad you did. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas.